Hey guys, Burton here for GSHelper.com, and this is a sequel to my other video on how to set up IADs in your game solid game. Um, I'm going to be showing you a technique um, that others have been talking about on the forums, and that is if I destroy my IADs after, you know, X amount of seconds, will I get more revenue? Um, and they're talking about that because you get an impression every 32 seconds I believe I believe it's 32 seconds um, but Apple keeps that ad up there for three minutes <laughs> so you have a big uh, window of time where you're not getting paid for the impression every three minutes the ad will re you know regenerate or whatever and it will show you a new ad and then after 30 seconds of that you know then you get more money um, so uh, I've actually tried this in one of my games. Uh, I, I destroy my iads after so many, you know, amount of seconds. I think I have it for 33 seconds. And I actually have seen incre increase in sales and uh, revenue. Um, so if you haven't seen my other video, uh, how to set up iads in your game style game, you can go ahead and it's on gshelper.com and you can go ahead and watch that. Um, so, first step, let's create a new actor and we're going to call this iads. Alright, let's open it and give it a quick color. Alright, now we need to drag this onto the scene. And we need to do this because we need to record the X position of this actor. So we're going to say, we're going to just put it to 50, the X position to 50, that way it's easy to remember. We're going to go back in here and um, we need to create a rule and this rule is going to say when self position x equals 50 you can go ahead under the pro tab if you're a pro user and you can drag in the show banner behavior and we're just going to show the banner at the top so this rule means when this actor's position uh, self position x is 50 then it's going to show an iad uh, at the top of your screen you can put it on bottom, it's your choice. Um, so there's our rule. Next we need to create two timers. So we're going to drag in a timer up here. And we're going to say every um, 5 seconds, but you're going to put this to like 34. Because um, what we're going to actually do is move the actor over one pixel so that the iads uh, destroy. Um, and then we're going to you know, respawn them. So we're going to say every 5 seconds, and 5 seconds is just for the demo, like I said, you're going to put this at like 34. So every 5 seconds, run to completion, and we're going to change attribute, change attribute uh, self position x to 51. Alright, and let's drag this over here, let's create a copy, and we're going to say every 6 seconds, change it back to 50. Now let's make sure that this is right up here. Okay, so there we go. We do this. Press preview. There's your iads. After five seconds, boom, it disappears, and then it shows back up. I'm not sure why this is actually like phasing out. I'm not sure. Um, it's not supposed to happen. Anyway, so there's your demo, um, and to just keep respawning those iads. Now you can actually do this for you can actually use this method for in-app purchases so if you have um, an in-app purchase to remove the iads you can actually do you know something like this so you would do in-app purchase item and you just put in your product ID and then you change an attribute to true a boolean and then you you know you just hook these up in a boolean so that if it's true if that boolean is true then it it would just switch the position to 51 so it wouldn't you know uh, keep generating those ads um, so that's about it that's uh... this is just a quick one uh... for those who don't know how to do it and i hope it helps y'all and we'll see you in the next video